Sunday afternoon, which is decision to cancel an average of slightly under 50 flights a day for the next six weeks. We did so that because for the, about the previous eight or nine days, our punctuality had fallen from something uh, of an average of about 90% to under 70%. Uh, for one, we are suffering a lot of ATC and weather delays. Two, while all of our schedules are fully crewed, knock-on delays that are arising from uh, air traffic control and our weather delays are knocking into the following day's flights because of crew hours. And we are also, from the 1st of September, trying to allocate a large amount of annual leave to our, principally our pilots, uh, in blocks of four weeks. So we went through, uh, sorry, so we've been going through the peak summer period without allocating much annual leave, which is why we were able to run the full summer schedule through the busiest months of June, July and August without any significant disruption. In fact, we carried 12.7 million passengers in August, an increase of 10% over the traffic we carried uh, the previous uh, the previous August. We're not short of pilots. We presently have over 4,200 pilots in Ryanair. That is an average or a crewing ratio of just over five. It's about 5.2 pilot crews, captains and first officers per aircraft. And generally, each aircraft only requires two uh, crews per day. Um, but what we have messed up is the allocation of holidays and trying to over allocate holidays during September and October while we're still running the uh, most of the summer schedule um, and while we're still running most of the summer schedule and taking flight delays because of principally air traffic control and um, weather disruptions. I'm not trying to blame air traffic control or weather disruptions. The blame for this lies with us, but we have tried to over allocate uh, leave to pilots in September and in October while still running a busy summer schedule and we don't have enough standby coverage to be able to cover uh, the inevitable disruptions that happen around this time of the year. Why did that change occur only in the first week of September? It occurred because we have an unusual situation in Ryanair this year. We're moving from a 12-month leave period. Uh, this is saying somewhat technical. We historically have allocated our leave from the 1st of April through to the 31st of March, so what we call a fiscal year. The IAA required us, uh, starting on the 1st of January 2018, to begin to allocate leave on a calendar annual year. So, in other words, from the 1st of January to the 40, or 31st of December. And we are running this crossover nine-month period when we're trying to allocate almost one year's leave during a nine-month period from the 1st of April 2017 to the 31st of December uh, 2017. And we simply do not have enough pilots in the month of September or October to be able to allocate this volume of leave. Um, the leave is being allocated to pilots as part of our conditions, working conditions being with pilots. We allocate them, they get six weeks leave a year, but four weeks of that comes in one block. And we've been trying to allocate this big lumpy one block during the month of September. 